Welcome to the Ken Multipurpose Creative WordPress Theme. In this first video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the theme and related plugins. You're going to learn how to install it via the WordPress dashboard and also via FTP. So let's get started. I've got a fresh version of WordPress 3.9.1 installed here with just the default themes. Let's take a look at what we download from ThemeForce. You should get these same files on your computer also. We've got the uh, license and purchase code file here that you'll need for getting support. We've got the uh, installable version of the Ken and then the full version of the Ken. I rename them as I download them so I know what they are. First we're going to deal with the installable version. But before we install the theme let's talk about our PHP limits. This file has all the minimums required for running the can. You should actually have higher if you can, but uh, you need to talk to your ISP because each one of them is different about changing your limits if you don't have enough. Specifically right now for uploading the theme we need to have a max upload file size of 10 megabytes. Okay, I'm going to show you an easy way to check to see how much you have before you even try to upload it via this method. If you simply go to media add new you'll see the limit. This is our max upload size right here, 16 megabytes. So we're good to go. Once you're sure your maximum upload size is high enough, then it's so easy to upload the theme. You simply click on Appearance, or go to Appearance, Themes, click on Add New, and then it'll change to Upload Theme, and we choose our file. Here's the Ken 1.2 installable. That's the version that I'm going to install. I'm hitting open and install now. You can see down here in the bottom left it's uploading the file. Doesn't take that long. I don't have the fastest internet in the world, but that's pretty quick. And it's installing. And there we go. And now all you gotta do is hit activate. And the can is activated. So I'm just gonna go here and hit refresh on our main page and you'll see there we go we've got the can with its default state we'll get into adding all of the demo data in a future video coming up here okay so now we just upload the can via the wordpress dashboard so now let's do it via FTP I'm gonna go in here, in here to appearance themes again and we're gonna pick the uh, 2014 theme again activate it because I'm going to delete what we just uploaded with the dashboard. So now that that's activated I'm going to go to theme details on the can and if it's not activated it'll give us the option to chuck it. So bye bye the can. It's a lot easier to do it here than trying to do it via FTP. It takes a long time to delete files individually with FTP. Anyway now we're on our FTP site. I am using FileZilla which is probably what just about everybody else in the world will use because it's free and great. To upload our Ken theme, all themes for WordPress go in this folder right here WordPress WP-Content and in there you're gonna also have a folder called themes. So here's all of the themes that are installed currently in our demo this file right here has all of the files that we need in it. The Ken 1.2.zip is what I called it. It's all theme files in one file. And we need that for the plugins which we're going to get to after we upload this. So I'm going to go to our folder with this file and I'm going to extract the files that are in it. Ken 1.2.zip, I use 7-zip for my extraction program. I'm just going to start extracting all these folders out of here. Ken 1.2, there's my folder. These are all the files inside that folder basically, or inside the or inside the zip file. We're going to extract them all just to do it here. Here's our documentation. This is our dummy or demo content. This is the can what we're going to actually be uploading the server.
And then we've got a child, which we'll get into in another video, but I'm extracting that here for later. And one last zip file are plugins. So now I've got the extracted versions of every single one of the folders. Our documentation's here. If you go into documentation, you can easily just run index here. And here's the documentation. You should learn the documentation. You should read the documentation. There's a lot of information in the documentation. It can also be viewed online by going to this address here, which I will also put in an annotation on the video at the bottom. So you'll see down here a link, which only works in the computer. If you're doing it on a phone or a tablet, you'll have to type in this here at the top. Artbees.net slash themes slash ken slash docs. All right back to uploading our stuff to the FTP. Now let's hit F5 here to see here's our folder the Ken 1.2. We're gonna get to our folders here. I need to get to Ken. Here's Ken and this is where all the files are. I need to upload this Ken folder to this folder right here. So with FileZilla it's very simple. I'm gonna take Ken and drag and drop it over here. Don't throw it on top of one of these folders or it will go in the folder. So I am going to drop it in the white space where the files would actually be. And now it's going to start uploading. It might take a while depending on your ISP, but I am going to pause the video and come back when it is done. Alright, so it's done uploading. Let's go back to our WordPress here. I'm going to hit refresh and we should have a Ken back in here. There's our Ken again. And I'm just going to go ahead and activate it. So we're back to where we were right after we did our WordPress upload. We've done the FTP upload, which should only be used if you really know what you're doing and also if you have problems with your ISP and getting your file size uploads changed. Let's move on to our plugins this theme wants to use and does use the theme upgrades tool which makes life easier for upgrading your themes and or plugins as they get updated and it goes for any other plugin that you might have too which is pretty cool so let's just go ahead and click on install now to this and activate it All right, now the can comes with one additional plugin, which is the layer slider. We're going to install and activate that now. I'm going to go to plugins, add new, which we're already on the page, so you can just hit add new here. And we're going to upload from our files on our hard drive. I'm going to hit choose file, and we're going to go to our folder where we download all of our files for the can and we're gonna find plugins plugins there's our layer slider plugin I'm gonna say open and we're not upgrading anything existing but if you were it would allow you to do that WordPress does not by itself allow you to without the plugin that comes with the can I'm going to hit install now and it's gonna upload this six meg or six and a half meg file Now it should install the file. And then we can hit activate plugin. And then we will have our layer slider activated down here. And you can see if we click on it, the layer slider is installed. One last thing we can do here is import our sample sliders. Simply just click the button import sample sliders. And you have the option to choose a demo slider to import. I'm going to import all of them. Okay, so now it's imported all the possible demo sliders from Artbees, and here they all are. You can check them out on your own, but that's all you do. You've got the layer slider installed now. All right, so that about wraps up installing the Ken theme and its related plugins. So tune in for our next video and have a wonderful day.